Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to create a simple yet fun and popular game called Rock Paper Scissors. The game Rock Paper Scissors is a hand game that is usually played with two people although it can be played with more with hand gestures and the hand gestures resemble either a rock with a closed fist, scissors with v-shaped fingers or a paper with a flat hand. Now paper beats rock, rock beats scissors and scissors beat paper. The two or more players will simultaneously choose their hand gesture, so either a rock, paper, or scissors, and a winner is determined depending on which gesture beats the other. If the gestures are the same, then it is a tie and neither player wins. Okay, so with all that being said, before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button, and to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. Now, I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com, and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started writing this code, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, and a new tab open up for you, and then eventually a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to put a description and comments about the program. So I'm just going to put rock, paper, scissors program. And next, I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. So I'm going to import random. And then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. And this will also let me know if I made any mistakes. Okay, so it looks like I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a list of choices. So that or those choices will be rock, paper, and scissors. So I'm going to create a variable called choices, and I'm going to set it equal to a empty list, and then I'm going to input R for rock, I'm going to input P for paper, and S for scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and run this, and create a new cell, and now I'm going to create a function to get the full spelling of rock, paper, or scissors from just those letters. So let's go ahead and call this function get underscore choice. All right, so get underscore choice is going to take us some input. And I didn't mean to do that, but let me go ahead and go back up to the cell here. All right, so let's put in a few if statements. So I'm going to put if input equals R, then I'm going to return rock. Okay, else if the input equals P, I'm going to return paper. else if input equals s I'm going to return scissors okay else I'm going to return not r p or s okay so let's go ahead and run this now and that looks good all right, so let's go to this next cell that I created by accident, and let's start writing the actual game. So I'm going to create a print statement that's going to say rock, paper, scissors, shoot to start the game and some simple directions. So let's just print rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, and then I'm going to create another print statement for the directions. So I'm going to put R equals rock, P equals paper, and S equals scissors. And I will give the player the option to quit the game. So I'm going to put Q for quit. All right, so let's go ahead and just run this just to check it out. Okay, so that looks good. Let's exit that. Okay, so now I'm going to create a counter for each game. So I'm going to set a counter equal to 1. So I created this variable called counter, and I set it equal to 1. And I think that's good enough there. I'm going to use that counter to keep track of all the games. So now let's have the game run forever. So while true, we're going to start the game. So I'm going to first print the game and the game number so I'm going to put a space here and I'm going to append the counter 
but I need to, I need this to be a string. So let's go ahead and go back here and let's cast this as a string. I'm gonna put counter here, and then I will go ahead and append a colon as well. So now it will say something like game one, then game two, then game three, etc. Okay. So next, I'm going to print. Please choose a letter. All right. So we will be asking the user to choose either R, P, S, or Q. So let's go ahead and get the user's choice. So the user's choice will be from the user's input. So I'm going to set user choice equal to input. And then I want to check if the user pressed Q. So if the user's choice was Q, then I know that the user wants to quit the game. So I'm going to print thanks for playing with an exclamation point, and then I'm going to break out the loop. OK, now if the user didn't put Q, they put something else. So we're just going to continue the game and then we'll probably we'll probably check for other letters and, and other characters that aren't R, P or S. So we'll probably deal with that a little bit later. So for now, let's go ahead and allow the computer to randomly choose rock, paper, or scissors. So I'm going to create a variable called random underscore index. And I'm going to set that equal to random dot rand int. And I'm going to create a random integer from 0 to 2. And that's because I'm going to use this as an index for that choices list that we created earlier. So now I'm going to create a variable called computer underscore choice. And we'll set this equal to choices at that random index. OK, so now the computer randomly chose one of those letters, which corresponds to rock, paper, or scissors. OK, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and print to the screen the user's choice and the computer's choice for transparency. So I'm just going to print you, I'm going to put a capital Y, you chose, and I'll put a space here, and we're going to get the choice. So that's the function that we created earlier, and we're going to input here the user's choice. So user choice, and then we're going to append it to this other string. So we're going to type the computer chose, and then we're going to get the computer's choice as well. So get underscore choice and then input computer underscore choice. All right. So now we can see what the computer chose and we can see exactly what the user chose. All right. Next, we need to print the winner. So if the user's choice is R, then, well, if it's R and the computer's choice is S, then we know that the user won. So I'm going to, I'm just going to print you, let me put a capital Y here, you won or you win. And then put a comma and then I will put rock beats scissors. Okay. And then I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of this and copy using control C and then come down here and paste the using control V and then make this elif. And let's move this over one. And then I'm going to just highlight it one more time and copy using control C again. So I don't have to keep putting that EL there. And then I just need to change a few things. So I'm going to make this P and what can P beat? Well, P can beat R, right? Because P is paper and R is rock. So you win because paper beats rock. All right, so now let's just paste this again using control V. So we have rock, we have paper. Next one is scissors with S. And what can scissors be? It could be paper. So here we say you win because scissors beats paper. Okay, all right. So now those are all of the cases when the user wins. Let's go ahead and print all of the cases when the computer wins. So I'm just going to do control V again. And I'm going to use... Um, let's see, we'll, we'll go ahead and use RPS again. So user's choice is R. And what loses to R? Or yes, what what loses? No, what, what beats R? So what beats R? 
R is rock. So paper beats rock. So we're going to put P here. And here we're going to say that the computer wins. And the computer wins because paper beats rock. OK. All right. So now I'm just going to highlight this, copy using control C, and then paste this using control V. All right, so we have rock, next is paper. So now I need to know what beats paper. So that's scissors. So that's S. And here I'm going to put computer wins because scissors beats paper. OK. All right, and then control V one more time. We have rock, we have paper, now we need scissors. And what beats scissors? Rock. So we're gonna say computer wins because rock beats scissors. Okay. All right, and then we need to test for or check for when they choose the same letter. So else if user's choice is equal to computer's choice. If it is, then we're going to print it's a tie. So I'll put it is a tie. OK. All right, so I think that looks good. Next, let's go ahead and increment that counter. So I think I called it counter. Yep. So I'm just going to highlight that copy using control C, come down here and paste it using control V. And I'm going to set counter equal to counter plus one. And then I'm going to print a new line. OK, and one more thing here, actually. I'm going to put an else statement here. And then I'm going to print, please enter P. Or we'll do R, rock, paper, scissors, or Q. All right. OK, so that's our, our check there, our error check. OK, so let's run this now. All right. So here we are, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. R for rock, P for paper, S for scissors. Actually, let me change that. I have a period there. I didn't realize that. So let's go back up. Right here. Okay. So let's get rid of that period. Let's go ahead and run this again. All right. So rock, paper, scissors, and Q for quit. Good. So game one, please choose a letter. So I'm going to choose R. All right. So here it says you chose rock. The computer chose scissors. You win. Rock beat scissors. All right. Let me choose R again. It says here for game two. You chose rock, the computer chose scissors again. I win because rock beats scissors. Let's choose R again. Hopefully, it will be different this time. All right, you chose rock, the computer chose paper. Good. The computer wins because paper beats rock. All right, so that's good. So now let me input something like a lowercase r. Okay, so here it says, please choose a letter. I input R. It says you chose not R, P, or S because it's not capitalized. And it tells me that the computer chose rock. And it tells me to please enter R, P, S, or Q. OK, which that's exactly what we expected. And let me put in Q here. And let's go down. We see that the program has stopped. And it says, thanks for playing. OK, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on Patreon.com. If you would like to become a supporter of this channel, I will leave a link in the description below. So thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a great day and see you in the next video.